Indeed. It would be a combination of ridiculous plays from Winter Fox and some epic fails from Renegades. And the way they've been playing, the confidence is just building and building. I don't see it happening. But maybe this is the start of something special. The bomb's been dropped from Sponge. He's going to hold this position. You can see this fire to his left and his right hand side. That stops the initial push from Winter Fox. Here comes Pit, though. JKS going to be holding down the trigger with the M4. Does get one. And then Yam from up up is going to punish Pit. The flashbang as well forces them into Havoc's crosshairs and he will pick up the frag. A 1v3 for Anger. There's the first one. There's the second one. 10 seconds to play with. Yam just has to play the time. 8 seconds. Anger, go for the bomb. You can't afford to go and look for him here. And he's timed himself out. He is not going to get this one. Oh, he still gets the kill. What, what? did I just witness, Yam? Yeah, that's exactly what Winter Fox is doing as well. Yeah, I, I feel this is a really good call from Winter Fox. And they have got the first frag as well. The flash comes over. There is Lex Azza on the site. Fantastic double and a triple and a quad as well. He sets it on fire and pretty much single-handedly gives Renegades this round. Surely Devil War can't spoil the party for his team. And, an and there's the ace as well. more to work with they are gonna get grouped up fortunately so they don't want on one of the retake but he oh, goes already oh got the first on sponge jay and he's gonna win it against havoc that's a massive misplay from renegades Do it again. Two more players to find. In they come. They're running two at once. Oh no! Chris Jay's going to take down Dennis. The team kill could just give Hiko a bit of an easier task on his hands. As now Chris Jay needs to find out where the hell has Hiko gone. Doesn't know just yet. Hiko goes for the peak. Trying to keep his angles tight. It will spot the player, Chris J. Chris J knows where he is. He's going for it, and that's Steaming it. Rolling into B site. JKS is holding on the angle here. There's the first tap. If you can pick up another one, there's every chance the CTs can hold on to this round. He's got it. And a third kill as well. Huge individual performance from JKS. with 18 seconds. If he plays this right, he may only need to pick up one frag here. He's been chased down from the Tech-9. 12 seconds now, he just gets the wow. insta headshot. Unbelievable. Just again, they try and go in for this fast bomb play. Kill is successful. Sponge takes down him, but DKS and Andren does mean that the bomb site, the two players are down. Nitro looking to come in for the retake, a third one, that's brilliant! As now he has three just kills. Molotov's flash is flying around, JKS holding the angle here. This is a really good spot for him with the smoke being where it was. The bomb's been dropped, he pushes, and did he go just spin around and headshot him? I didn't quite catch that, but that was ridiculous nonetheless. And there's a third frag for Hiko, it's all on Yam. He does pick up the frag, but he's dropped down to 8 HP. And now that Molotov could burn, and indeed he will. Liquid, 13-2 T-Saw. Where have we seen Hiko do that before? Just, I feel like I feel like Anders misses catching Hiko. We had like the Are You Kidding Me moment on yeah. Cabo. We had the inhuman reactions down, here. Never so fast. There is a defuse kid. He's going to be tapping through the smoke. He misses everything. He needs to re-peek again. He gets the first oh. and the second kill. And the bomb will not get defused. What a fantastic clutch again. Holding just off balcony, waiting for the players to push him. Both of the uh, liquid players are pretty low here. They get a 1 1 trade. It's all on Hiko. Go to the pre fire. Yam, if he lands anything onto Hiko, he's a dead man. He's going to be coming up. This is where the scout could work. He's going to be jumping and lands the shot onto Hiko. And it's going to be the defuse as well. Not 
gonna hit it. Dennis dies, and this time he doesn't have the bomb, but he's gonna land the headshot. That's now a triple kill. He's looking for the quad. He's pretty long range, and there it is. He's gonna clutch the round, and now Sports, he will win it. You get in there for free. There we go. Nice shot, though, by Pies. He's looking for another headshot, but he's not going to find it. He has to fall back and try and change up the angle. Chris is going to be walking into this one. There it is. Shot from Chris, perhaps. Another headshot from Pies, and now it is down to a one versus two. They're going to put up the smoke. He gets a shot through the smoke. Nico's down. Make a run for it. Pies gets a headshot. It's a quad kill. He catches the whole round here, and Winter Fox are going to bring it back. And you can tell that fired up the team. That could be the round that really switches this first half. That could change everything. Now they're revitalized. They're actually going to have a big buy going into this round.